Welcome to NetFit.TV, where we're here to motivate and dedicate you to live a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. My name is Carl. I'll be leading today's workout. The tip of the day is focus. I want you to focus on one thing at a time in this workout. We often try to multitask, getting nothing done from day to day. So today, let's focus on this workout. We have a full body integrated workout where we're going to be doing two muscle groups with each exercise. So it requires a lot of focus. So let's get started. The first exercise is a squat with the overhead press. You need a set of dumbbells or resistance bands for today's workout. Today's workout, we're going to be doing more resistance training instead of cardio. So your heart rate will not increase as high as it usually does in a cardio workout, but it's still a great workout. So it's time to get started. Are y'all ready? Okay, y'all got y'all dumbbells and resistance band. I'll grab mine. We're going to go into a deep squat, so toes out, heels in. Get as low as you can, and then once you stand up, you're gonna press your arms over your head into a shoulder press. Y'all ready? Let's go. Inhale down, exhale push. We have as many reps as you can in 45 seconds. That's the goal. Okay, so whenever I tell you 45 seconds, I want you to do as many as you can. If you can only do 20 reps, and then you need to drop the dumbbells, just continue squatting. Get maximum benefit in the least amount of time. Let's go all the way down, press it up. All the way down, all the way up. Notice how Dusty's coming down to 90 degrees. I don't want you to get any lower than that, okay? So 90 degrees, which is right there, is perfect, okay? Once you get to that level, then that's as low as you want you to go. Press up higher, Dusty. There we go, raise those arms up to the roof. You feeling the burn? Yeah, right here, huh? Perfect, we have five seconds left. Everything you got, come on. For three, two more, two last, one, and voila, the next one. Push up with a leg lift. Okay, everyone watch me real quick. Hands a little wider and shoulder width. On your toes, you're gonna go down into a push up and lift your right leg up. And then as you press up, you can switch legs and lift the left leg up. So you can alternate legs. Dusty's gonna drop to your knees to make it easier. Are y'all ready? Let's go. Inhale down, exhale up. When you lift your leg up, I want you to squeeze your glute, your booty. So you're doing two things at once. You're doing a push up and you're doing a hip extension with your leg. Oh yeah, breathe. Don't hold your breath. All the way down, all the way up. Notice how big Justin's coming down to 90 degree at the elbow. I don't want you to go any lower than that. That's as low as you need to go to get maximum benefit where you get some good looking triceps. That's the back of your arms, your chest, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Keep it up. There we go, all the way down. Good work. So she's kicking that leg out, squeezing the booty. Oh yeah, shoulders over hands more. Perfect. So you wanna make sure you drop those hips when you go down. Just like that. We have three, two more. Two, last one, and good. That's it for that one. Next, we have roll-ups. So we're gonna turn our mats, and we're gonna roll it up. We're gonna work your stomach. So this is a full body workout today. Oh, so roll it back one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna lift up, and I want you to lift your right leg up, reaching for your toe, and then roll it back, and then lift your left leg up. Doing two things at once. Dusty's gonna grab onto her thigh to make it easier. Y'all ready? Let's go, right leg up, reach, and then roll it down. Make sure you roll back one vertebrae at a time. Why is that, Justin? There we go, absolutely. Don't wanna hurt your lower back. So we need to make sure we roll that spine and then lift up. This is one that if you lose your pants, you're doing it right. Let's go, come on, reach and roll it. There we go, keep it up. I'm gonna check on everybody. Good, lift up higher. There we, go. there we go, grab onto your thigh. Now lift your body all the way up, Dustin. Come on, like that, there we go. All the way up, and then roll it down, perfect. Five seconds left, all the way up, all the way down, we almost there. For three, two, on your feet. Next, we have a lunge with the rear fly. So grab onto your dumbbells, pick them up. I want your right leg forward, left leg back. Chest up, we're gonna drop the back knee all the way down, and then when you straighten out your legs, you're going to fly back, pinching your shoulder blades together. You got that? Chest up, you can lean forward a little bit so you can get that rear fly in there. Y'all ready? You ready at home? Let's go. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Good form. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Make sure you pinch your shoulder blades. Bam, right there. Squeeze and focus. Remember, that's the tip of the day. Keep it up. There we go. Pinch. Pinch. There we go. Drop the knee all the way down. And when she straightens out her legs, she's going to pinch her shoulder blades together. So she goes all the way down, and then she goes all the way up. Are you breathing? Yes. Make sure you're breathing. 
Don't hold your breath at home. Are you feeling it back here, my man? Yeah. Oh yeah, come on, we have five seconds left. Five, four, three more. Three, last two, one more, and perfect. Next, left leg. Now we're going to do a chest fly. So instead of rear fly, a chest fly. Left leg forward, right leg back. Okay, our arms are up high. Pull our stomach in, you're gonna drop the back knee, and then when you straighten out your legs, you're gonna release. So when you drop the knee, bring it together. When you straighten out your legs, bring it out. Y'all ready? Let's go. Drop the knee, squeeze, and release. If it's too heavy, go lighter. If it's still too heavy, drop your dumbbells and just do the motion with your arms. Okay, where are you gonna feel this? Shoulders and chest. Keep it up. Come on. Hands up higher, Dusty. Hands up higher. There we go. Drop the knee. And when you straighten out your legs, up here. Drop it, up here. Lean back a little bit more. Lean back, there we go. Stretch it out, squeeze, there we go. Focus here. Oh yeah, come on. Six, five more. Five, last four. Are you feeling the burn? Yeah, we're quiet. Come on, two, one more. And perfect, roll those shoulders back. Should feel that front shoulders, back shoulders. Drop the weights down, we got a push up again with a T-stand. You ready for that push up with a T-stand? Let's do it. Okay, so hands right off the mat on your toes. We're gonna pull our stomach in, come down to 90. Open that arm up, pinch your shoulder blades together, and then go back down and alternate sides. You ready? Let's start with the right side. Down, and then open it up. Down, and then open it up. There we go, good balance. Notice Dusty's dropping down to her knees to make it easier. There we go, all the way down and pinch, just like so. Notice how she's lowering her hips when she goes down, where she's getting a full push up from her shoulders to her knees. She's going all the way down. There we go, we got 20 seconds, do what you can. I'm gonna get a few more in there. Remember, if it's too hard, let's take a little break and then press start again. Come on, we got five, last four. Four, three more. Good, are y'all breathing? I can't hear y'all. Is it burning enough? Yeah. yeah, one more. And good. Okay, so water break, real quick. Get a quick sip. That should elevate your heart rate a little bit, even though it's not cardio movement. So get a quick sip. Make sure you drink before, during, and after every workout. Let me get a sip. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. We're gonna turn our mats and do snow angels on our stomach. Okay, where we're gonna start with Superman and then we're gonna go into a snow angel. So we're doing two things in one exercise, like every exercise. So remember, that requires a lot of focus. Both arms straight out in front. You're gonna reach with the arms and legs out and up and then stay up high as you separate with your arms and your legs, pinching your shoulder blades and your booty, and then straight arms and straight legs come together. Are y'all ready? Okay, so all the way up, let's separate as wide as you can, pinch your shoulder blades and your booty, and then come together. Inhale out, exhale together. Full stretch, pinch, stretch, pinch. Keep your arms and legs up as high as you can. Where are you feeling that, Justin? Lower back. Lower back. Okay, so if your lower back's hurting where it's painful, I don't want you to lift your legs up as high. So you should be feeling the burn, but it should not be painful, okay? So if it is painful, drop your legs and just move your arms out and in, and then you'll feel it more in your upper back. Perfect. There we go, last five seconds. Come on, you can do it. We have a little surprise coming up. Oh, we all love surprises. One more, out and hold, up high, legs wide, pulse your hands up towards the ceiling. Okay, I want you to focus on the burn on your upper back. Is that where y'all feeling it at home? How about over here? Yeah. You should be feeling it. Come on, up higher. Five, four, pinch. Three, two, and hold it up high. Good, and then place your hands next to your side, push your upper body up, and stretch out our stomach, drop our shoulders away from our ears, relax your booty, and bring your booty to your feet. Hands into your knees, lift up, roll it up. Leapfrogs is next. Don't we love leapfrogs? Oh yeah. Okay, so toes out, heels in, let's rock. Arms back, we can squat down and jump as high as you can. 
and in soft landing. Got it? Ready? Let's rock and roll. Down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Now this is cardio, right? I just can't help myself. I love a little cardio in every workout. Makes it fun and exciting. Oh yeah, come on. All the way down, all the way up. Do I hear your feet, Justin? That's not your feet, huh? Ah, I like that, soft landing. There we go, good work. Throw it up and then throw those arms back. Up and down. Sit back like you're sitting in a chair, but there's no chair. Remember that, don't think there's a chair back there. But hey, if you feel like you're losing your balance, place a chair back there. Come on for three, two, one more, and perfect. Standing crunches is next. Hands behind head, chest up, hips back. Feel the stretch down your stomach. Then you crunch and bring your hips forward, squeeze in your stomach. Chest up, hips back, crunch. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Chest up, hips back, and crunch. Inhale, exhale. Now if you're focusing, you're feeling this. If you don't focus, you will not feel it. Where should you feel it? Down your stomach. Oh yeah. There we go. So open the chest up, hips back, squeeze. Open, close. Open the rib cage, close the rib cage. Got it? Chest up, squeeze. Chest up, squeeze. Notice how she's squeezing her stomach when she brings her elbows towards her hips. And she opens that chest up nice and proud. Good. Open up, big smile, and then crunch. Come on, for three, two, one more, and perfect. Next, right elbow to left knee. I want you to get your right elbow on the outside of your left knee and squeeze your left side. So right next to your abs, external obliques right here. You all ready? Hands behind head. Bring the right elbow to the left knee for 20. Let's count out loud. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's slow it down. Nine, 10, come on. Four. Up higher. Three. Come on, pull that knee up as high as you can. Good, what number? 16, 17, twist, you can do it. 19, one more, and perfect. Now let's switch. Now, left elbow, right knee, you ready at home? We're ready, let's rock and roll. One, two, three, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up higher, 10. Notice how she's pulling the knee up high, bringing the elbow to her knee, squeezing her stomach. Do you feel that, Dusty? Breathe, don't hold your breath, you're gonna pass out. Breathe at home. What, not, what number? One more, and perfect. This next one is tough, but I know you can do it, okay? It's double knees explode through your body, and then soft landing, so it's gonna kinda look like this, okay? Too challenging for you? All I want you to do is pull right knee up, left knee up. Hey, it's all about your journey. Y'all ready? Let's go, all the way down, explode, soft landing. Do it again. Explode, soft landing. Keep it up, you got it. Oh, there we go. Whew. There we go, get pumped up. Come on at home, I want you excited. We have a water break after this in 30 seconds. There we go, notice how he balances, then he explodes. Using his arms, use your arms. Perfect, right knee up, left knee up. Good, hands on your hips. There we go, right knee up, left knee up. Good modification right here. Okay, so if it's too challenging, just do one leg at a time, and then before you know it, you'll be exploding with both knees. Come on, three more. Come on, man, get two more in there. Last one, water break. Good work. The good thing is we only have one more circuit, so get a good sip of water. Make sure you recover so you can give us 100% for this last circuit. Keep it up. Keep it up. Now those last couple exercises really get your heart rate up. That's a good thing, it's good to mix it up. Next, squat with a front raise. So grab onto some dumbbells or resistance band, pick them up, okay, and let's go into it. So this time, toes out, heels in, legs a little wide and shoulder width, sit down like you're sitting in a chair, and when you stand up, you can go straight arms up. Notice, don't, when you go down, and when you lift up, don't bring your hips forward, keep your hips back. Okay, this isn't a back exercise, this is a front shoulder and leg exercise. Y'all ready? Let's go, squat, front raise. So squat with legs, 
using the front of your shoulders to do the front raise. Inhale down, exhale up, full stretch, lift up. Don't go any lower than 90 degrees. You got that? Come on. Two and one, two and one deal. We all love deals these days. Let's go. Notice I should use the wrist resistance band. It's great. If you don't have a dumbbell, dumbbell, so you can use the band. Keep your chest up when you go down and then lift up. There we go. Notice how she keeps her chest up. She's standing tall. She looks great. Come on. How about you at home? How are we feeling? We only got five seconds left. Finish it off strong. Four, three more. Three, last two. One more and perfect. We got three exercises left. Push up with leg abduction is next. Okay, we're gonna drop down to our knees on the mat. Say a little prayer because this is gonna be tough. You can do it. Okay, on your toes, pull your stomach in. You're gonna do a push up and kick the right leg out. And then when you lift up, you're gonna switch legs. Okay, Dusty's gonna go to her knees and do the same thing. Are y'all ready? Let's rock and roll. Down and press it up. Down, press it up. So as you go down, you kick that leg out. So you're working your booty and you're working your chest. Oh yeah. Good job. Kick it out. Down and kick it out. Down. Bring your shoulders over your hands more, Dusty. When you go down, so I want you to keep your shoulders over your hands at home. And then go down and then kick it out. Kick out when you go down. There we go. Come on. 15 seconds left. How you feeling at home? We're feeling good, huh? You like that? Kick that leg out. There we go. Your hips aren't flexible. That's fine. Just do what you can. We got three more. For three. And then we got teaser. Two. One more. And perfect. I'm sweating. Are y'all sweating? Yes? Good. Okay, now let's turn those mats. Time for a little teaser action. Okay, take a seat. Pull your stomach in. Let's roll it back. Modify teaser. I want you to bend your legs in. You're going to kick the right leg straight out. Lift up. Grab onto your thigh. Lift all the way up. Roll it down and you're going to switch the legs. Okay? Or if you feel like that's too easy, do what I'm fixing to do. Y'all ready? Three, two, let's go. All the way up. And then roll it down as you lower your legs. All the way up and then roll it down. Make sure you exhale up, inhale down. Let me go check on everybody. I'm sad, I enjoy those. Don't you enjoy those, Justin? Oh yeah, so lift that body up. So the end product right here is where you're sitting on your booty and then you roll it down one vertebrae at a time. So at the end, he's up, his whole back's up. And then he lowers it down one vertebrae at a time. You got that? Let's go, all the way up and roll it down. Now lift up higher, Dusty, there we go. Come on, lift that spine off, there we go. When you lift that spine up off the mat, you're gonna activate your stomach more. That means more results. I know we want more results. Come on, for three, two, 180 squats. Everybody on your feet, up on your feet at home. It's time to rock and roll. One more exercise, it's cardio, let's do it. Move those mats out of the way, it's time to work. We're gonna squat and then jump up 180 degrees and then go back 180 degrees. Are you ready? You ready? Let's go. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. There we go. Chest up, eyes up. Get a set of dumbbells if you need. Good work. Go straight into the squat. Straight into the squat. So as soon as you plant your feet, you're squatting, okay? You don't take any break. There we go. You need to take a break, hit pause. Hit pause. And then hit start. There we go. All the way up, jump and switch. Oh yeah, there we go. Shoulder blades together, eyes up. There we go, remember, personal best. If you need to take a break, take a break. Take a break. Come on, we got 15 seconds left. I'm gonna finish it off with everybody. Let's go. Oh yeah, big smile everybody, come on. Come on, as fast as you can with good form. Quality over quantity. Only well, got two more. I'm starting to get dizzy. And good, not because I'm out of shape. Because 180, right? Good work at home. Great work, y'all. That's what you call a full body integrated workout. When you focus on one thing at a time, you'll be more productive and less stressed out. Until next time, reach your personal best.